The year is 2026 and a lot has happened in the NHL. I asked you in the last video, do we go through every single team's roster and find out what happened or do we skip all that and we just kind of find out as everybody goes? And the comments resoundingly said, go through everybody's team. You know, like go, go through the whole roster and show us what happened. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. I don't know how much gameplay we're going to see in this video. We might not see any gameplay depending on how long the roster check uh, takes but if we do see some gameplay it's gonna be against the flames who are a huge rival of ours so let's hope that the roster check doesn't take too long but i guess we about to find out if not it's gonna be next video baby so you see the anaheim ducks we're 49 7 and 2 we are we are just it's uh, it's amazing we've had one of the best seasons in the world i just had a stroke trying to put it into words uh the drive for 70 wins is probably dead though because i mean that means we'd have to go a lot of games without... We only couldn't lose one more for the rest of the season, and we have like a month and a half left. So let's not let's not do that. It's just not going to happen. Let's not even hope for it. So let's get to the rosters. The Anaheim Ducks, of course, that's my team. You already know who it is. It's me, Dreisaitl, and uh, everybody else, basically. Okay, so here we go with the roster checkup. Here's the Arizona Coyotes. Jonathan Huberto, Jordan Eberle. What's your overall? Yeah, he's still at 85 kicking. That's pretty good. Andrew Kopp is good. We have, uh, <laughs> yo, I had to check that first name, bro. If it was Alberto, I, I was going to say, Derrick. you know, if you know, you know. All right. Uh, Fabry, good player. Raquel, good player. Uh, di didn't he, didn't he come back to Anaheim and then leave again? Oh, no, he just, he just booked. He booked before we started winning cups. That sucks, Raquel. That, that really sucks for you. I have Clayton Keller, forever stuck in Arizona. Kind of feel bad for him. Schmoltz is huge. Okay. Gauthier, Marsha. So it's kind of falling off a little bit here. Timmons. Uh, huh? Huh? That is Patrice Bergeron at 40 years. No, please no. Please God no. Not, not, not only is he not a Bruin, can we not have him go to the Coyotes? How long have you not been a Bruin? Oh my goodness. He's... He's having a whole, like, post-Bruins career. Uh, no, no. Game, no. D -d keep him, keep this man in Boston, please. You will notice that Jack Action is not here. He must have signed a big deal or got traded or something. Uh, Minton. You know, is he Hinton at greatness? Oh, uh, yeah, he's top six forward. Yeah, okay, so he's going to be good. So that's not a medium elite, but still, it's a decent player. Uh, we don't care about rookie goalie. Oh, snap. Okay, they have Connor Hellebuck and Corpusal. That is a good goaltending duo. That Not even going to lie. All right. Let's get to the next one. The Boston Bruins. Yeah, that sucks. Austin Matthews. Oh, with the Austin Matthews and Nylander. Domi. Yeah. Yeah. Stodnika is fair. He's been there for a minute, I feel like. Oh, Gillies. Are you... You're... You're low elite. You're an 84 over. Okay, Gillies. Damn. That's, I see you, bro. I see you, bro. You are a elite medium. Oh, Boston's going to be a problem. They're going to be a problem. Uh, McAvoy's still a whole 89 out here. That is uh, that is rough. That is rough for anybody that's going to... What is your name? Oh, they're Argachinsev. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw a really long name, and I was like, hello? No, no, it's SDA. We all good. Pareko, you're down to an 82. You still got some X factors on you, so that's not too bad. Can you stop pucks, guys? Oh, Robin Lett. Yep, yep, yep. That's right. That's right. And Anton Forsberg. Okay, so these these uh, these uh Bruins are going to be a problem here. They're definitely a playoff team in my book. Jack Eichel, still on the Buffalo Sabres. With Cozens and Middlestad, yeah, everybody is... Oh, who is this? Who is Shishkanov? Wait, I think that's a real player. I'm 2022... Oh, yeah, that's a real player. Okay, yeah, so Shishkanov, that's good for them. Olofsson, yeah, Buffalo is like a really same type of team, except they just sprinkled in a couple... Play Skinner, are you still on your... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he's still for two years on $9 million. They are so fucked, bro. That contract sucks. That contract is brutal. Ooh, you need to you need to grow up a little bit more, sir. Oh my god. Other than that, yeah, it, now it starts to fall off. What are you guys? 
Yeah, nothing, nothing else crazy. Pekka, are you like Mike Pekka's kid? Okay, top six or top four D. That's that's pretty good. As far as goaltenders go, yeah, Pekka Lukanen, you already know who it is. He's got that medium elite potential. Yeah, yeah, that's a real that's a real goalie, and they have a backup as their backup or backup potential as their backup. So I mean, the Buffalo Sabers are kind of building a little some some. They just might be relevant. The Calgary Flames have Nathan McKinnon, Tara Vinen, Kachuk, Konechny, Monahan. Oh my God, this this team is stacked. The God himself, Pierre Engvall, always underrated, but scores a shit ton in the Sim Tyler Reddish. We have Kapari. Yeah, this team is. <laughs> <laughs> they have Klingberg. This team is so stupid. Oh, they have Bouchard, or, or they have um, they have VC and Angval. It's over. It's over. They're they're gonna win the whole thing. If we don't, it, it's gonna be them. Can they stop pucks at all? Marstrom. Uh, ah, goaltending kind of a problem. Kind of a little bit of a problem. You know, 84 is not the greatest. Why am I going all the way down? What am I doing here? Let's go to the Hurry Flames. We have Montembeau. Oh, my goodness. Montembeau and Stolars. Yeah, y'all can't stop pucks at all. On that alone, y'all probably should make the playoffs. They do have my boy Shvachnikov, which is nice. Caught Kenny Ami. Goes to an 86 overall. That's You know what? I should probably just do it like this, right? Right? Is this better? Because we get to see the overall instantaneously. We do have uh, Ajay Kopitar, which is pretty good. Suzuki as an 83. Natchez, not bad, not bad. Mika Zibanejad. Yeah, okay, so they have some real players there. They have some real players for sure. Oh, and a medium elite. Stepan Nyquist. Nice. Okay. And a top four defense. Okay, so they do have a nice blend of... Yo, shout out Tyler Johnson. Still kicking it. Still kicking it. Tyler Johnson, my man. Okay, they do have a nice blend of good players now and young players for the future. Kyle, he's getting up there a little bit in age, but still. Okay, yeah. So definitely not a bad team, but not elite at all. Now, the Blackhawks, who do you have? The Brinka is a whole 90 now. Strom at 86 is good. Lindholm is good. Team, oh my god, we're already at Dimitro Timoshov. Uh, they have Doc. Oh, yeah, the Blackhawks suck ass. Oh, my goodness. Seth Jones, okay, he's, he's a little bit further down the list than I thought he would be. Yeah, no, they suck. They they absolutely suck. Is that is that guy good? Is that guy good? Minimally, yeah, he'll, he'll be something, but uh, no, the Hawks are terrible. Okay, who do we have uh, between the pipes for the Blackhawks? We do have Sorokin and uh, 73 overall irrelevant bump. Okay, yeah. Colorado Avalanche. We do have still Captain Lenny on there, which is good. Alex Newhook. They still didn't give Alex Newhook a picture. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Give this man a picture. We have the good Nyquist, who's only 82 now. Tyson Jost, my dog. Shouldn't have traded you away, bro. They they they, they really messed up with that one. Hinnestroza, that's not bad. Hey, wait. Oh, yeah, it is Hinnestroza. I thought I messed that up. Jamie Benn. Yo, he, he kind of would be a problem in Colorado, not going to lie. Uh, Cow... Kadri's at 83 now. Yeah, okay, so they're still uh, somewhat similar to um, another team that we saw earlier, the, the Buffalo Sabres. They kind of have a samey sort of roster just with some new players added. Oh, man, they have a... Oh, that when the bottom falls off for them, it falls off hard. So they're a top-heavy team for sure, and they do not have goaltending. Oh, yeah, okay, so Colorado, not an elite team either. What about the Blue Jackets? 90 line A. Kuhn and Sod, we're already in the mid-80s. Oh, there's a fair bit of mid-80s, though. And Wierenski's there. And Boquist is uh, all grown up now. Okay, the Columbus Blue Jackets are a real hockey team. That's not bad. That's not bad. Their depth is, is uh, it falls off a little bit, but it never completely falls off. Okay, yo. Yo, that's a real team. That's a real team. And they have a goaltender in Merzlikens. All right, fair enough. They don't have a backup, but, you know, they still have Merzlikens, who's great at hockey. The Stars still have Tyler Sagan, Gurionov, who's a 80. Bro, get yourself Dennis Gurionov whenever you can in franchise. I am not kidding. This guy is a monster. Okay, Jason Robertson grows up to be a whole 88 overall. Okay, so Dallas is real. Like, they have, oh, my goodness, they still have him. That's crazy. Okay, so they definitely have a real roster here on the Dallas Stars. Yeah, that's not bad at all, man. What they're dealing with. Yep, yep. That is definitely... We don't want to see them in the playoffs. And if we do, they might be a problem. Oh, they have Tristan Jari. We'll be fine. The Detroit Red Wings are on the back of Philip Zadina once again. Uh, Connor Geeky. I didn't think he was going to be an elite. Okay, okay. So good for Geeky. Joe Valeno's there still. Lucas. Whoa! What happened to Lucas Raymond? He's only at 84. I thought he'd be higher than that by now for sure. 
but I guess not. And then it still it still goes down. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ooh, my boy, my boy, Apple Cider. He's at 87. It's going to be real, but they're still definitely rebuilding. Oh, y'all got Cody CC. It's a wrap. We got goalies. Random, like, just average ass goalies. Okay, Detroit, not ready to, for, for prime time yet. Connor McDavid, still the captain of the Edmonton Oilers with now 87 overall. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Majapani is huge. Cairo is huge. Darnell Nurse, Yap, 85 Hyman, 85 Yamo. We have Bur Burgno, Burgno, Bu Burgno. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Hartman, we have uh, Shea Theodore. A oh, guy would not mind that in Edmonton. <laughs> I would not mind that at all. I know he, he's been, uh, I think if I remember correctly, he's been kind of mid lately. Theodore has, but I would still take it. Yo, medium elite as well. Edmonton, still kind of a problem. Okay, okay. No more dry sidle, which is a huge drop off. Oh, but they oh, you, it, it, who gave this man an 86? Who 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 did that? Who did, I want them arrested. Florida Panthers, of course, start off with Sasha Barkov along with Lindell, and this man is a top six forward. We have Tippett and Sourdi. Oh, it's kind of it's kind of falling off nice and quick here. They have Tom Wilson, no, you know, a nice good ag agitator. And there's Provorov, who, who finally got out of Philly. He's a whole 88 overall now. Gauthier, Aston Reed. Yeah, it did fall off a little bit. Oh, they still have Ekblad, though, so they're probably just trying to do the whole defensive thing. Will Butcher, I don't know if he's going to... Hey, Radko Gouda is still doing it, still doing it. Did you find water yet, bud? Who knows, who knows? We have uh, who? That is preseason MVP Tobias Reader to you, sir. And we have... Oh, yeah, Spencer Knight is at 87. Yeah, 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 okay. And Bob, Bob, are you still on your... Oh, God, those contracts. Oof, ooh, ooh, Bob. But at least it's expiring, but damn, son. All right, the Los Angeles Kings are rivals, uh, state rivals. Not great when your leading scorer is an 80 overall. This is probably not. Y'all have Shane Wright, and he's not leading your team in goals or, or points. Oh, my goodness. He played almost the same amount of games, too. That's crazy, but he's an old 90 overall, which is good. Arthur Kaliev seems to have topped out around 82, which is not ideal. Turcotte's at 88. Byfield's an 87. Why are they scoring so few points? Uh, are these points? Yeah, they're not a high-scoring team somehow. They have a lot of talent. They're just not scoring a whole lot. This kid's going to be a problem. We have Ronek and Clark. Yo. I don't I don't understand why they are so mid but as far as their point production goes. That's kind of that's kind of messed up. I'm kind of confused by all of that, but you know what? It, it, I guess I guess they haven't quite figured it out, and they don't have a goalie. Okay, it's my boy Marco Rossi for the Minnesota Wild. That is my dog right there. Former Ottawa 67. Y'all already know what it is. We represent it good out here. Yes, sir. You got that playmaker. If y'all don't give this man X factors, bro. Y'all should give this man wheels and, and freaking what's the what's the dangly one? The puck on a string. Y'all should give this man wheels and puck on a string for sure. Uh, Kaprizov is a nine or an eighty nine. I feel like it was a ninety earlier, so I he might have fallen off a little bit. But Shnevich, good. Uh, Erickson Eck is good. McLeod, oh yeah, okay. So they're they're a real team here. They're a real team. Unless it, it falls. Hey, shout out Josh Jose. Made it back to the show. Love to see it. Yeah, love to see it. Fiala's great. Barbashev is a huge middle six player. Ah! Lambos, who's at 82. Lambos, if you don't stop being mid in these simulations, bro. If Death Taxes and Jonas Brodeen being on the Minnesota Wild, he's there. Uh, and then it falls off a little bit. Okay, okay. So that's that's not too bad, though. Those are some scratches, most of them. And their goaltenders. Oh, Jack Campbell. Oh, my goodness. Jack Campbell in Minnesota. Not going to lie. As as an American, that's, that's kind of cool. And then they don't have a backup. What is it with these, these computer-controlled teams that just cannot get a, a backup goalie to save their lives? I don't know. I just smacked the shit out of my pop filter. I hope you didn't hear that, but it is what it is. All right, Sebastian Ajo. Captain of the Montreal Canadiens. We have Jake Gensel flanking him. Cole Caulfield is uh, 85 now. He's not done um, growing, though, I don't think. Atkinson's there. Oh, Claude Giroux ended up in Montreal. That's kind of cool, I guess. Nick Suzuki's at 85 overall. Troy Terry is here. Oh, and you topped out at an 81. What happened, Troy? That sucks. That really sucks. Nachushkin. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the Habs are a real team. I definitely would consider them a real team. Oh, that's Josh. They they are a contender. They have Josh Levo. They are a contender for sure. And they have some medium elites. That, yo, the Habs are going to be a problem. They're, they're, they are going to be a problem. They got the God. 
himself, Josh Levo. We have uh, Peterson and Sogard in between the pipes, so definitely uh, the Carey Price days are gone, but at least they have a backup. You feel me? Ailey Tolvin, who gave this man an 89? My goodness. Tomasino's at 86 now, which is huge. My boy, my boy Duganov is a 31 goal scorer in 54 games. I thought he'd score a few more goals than that this season, but you know what? putting up some apples as well so you love to see it larkin good for you bertuzzi just followed larkin here i guess ryan strom's there i miss jordan eberly in edmonton every single day and then we have okay oh whoa they have a lot of um of mid 80s as well and then it falls off a little bit but it doesn't fall off that hard the Predators are a real team. They just might be a contender here. Brassat Brassat is your your starter, and 82 Georgie is your back. Yeah, okay. So there goes the contender part, unless one of those guys goes on to tear. Okay, Mitch Marner is the top scorer for the New Jersey Devils. This man has 40 apples in 57 games. That's what I'm talking about. Nico Heischer's a 92. God damn it. Uh, Holtz is a 88. <laughs> Antonin is a 90 Hughes. Man, they are a problem. Look at this. Yeah, I have O'Reilly. My God, I didn't notice O'Reilly was there last video. Tarasenko, old self, is there. Drew Doughty, still a 86. Yo. Yo, the devils are real, bro. Are you still getting... Uh, yeah, you're still getting paid $9 million. You have Josh Manson, Orlov. Yo, I can't wait to play the devils again. This shit is... Yo, they have an 85 on top of it. Come on, bro. Who built this team? And they have a huge uh, starting goalie in Blackwood at an 87 and a real backup in Casey DeSmith. Yo, the AI did a great job with the New Jersey Devils. Let's see how they did with the Islanders. Kevin LeBanc is your leading scorer. Interesting. We have Matthew Barzell, of course. Ehlers is good. Wastrom is good. Pooley up to an 86. You love to see that. Dobson's down to an 82 now. You don't love to see that. Uh, Sonny Milano, the most shafted man in history, okay? Because that's that's the the Trevor Zegras assist was to Sonny Milano, and ain't nobody giving this man credit for batting the puck out of midair. And I, I'm just saying, I can we respect my boy Milano for, for doing that? Simo, not even close to Thomas. Holmstrom is an 81. We have, okay, Tierney finally got out of Ottawa. God bless him. Uh, the single is at 76 now. My goodness. Oh, Sezekis is still on the Islanders. That is crazy, bro. They ain't never getting hit, rid of him. They never are going to find a way to get rid of him. Pella has zero point. Okay, yeah, he, he got hurt for uh, for a fair bit. Oh, dude, it doesn't say zero points. It actually has seven. No, it's, it's not a lot of points, bro. I thought he... Yo, th what is the... Um, the Islanders are a mix of really terrifying players and then some really, I mean, really bad players. <laughs> so I don't know what to make of them. They do have good goaltending, though, or at least decent goaltending. That's crazy. The Rangers. Across, oh, yeah. Panarin, still a 93. Heedle. Oh, my boy Heedle went up to an 88. That's what I'm talking about. Man, Adam Fox is a 91. Capo Caco. It's Caco Tuesday. I had to do it for the fan, man. We, ha we have Lafreniere, who's a 90 overall. Wentberg. Yeah, the Rangers are a real team as well. Look at that. Look at that. A lot of mid-80s. Yo, Kravtsov, he didn't get traded this season, did he? I don't think he did. Unless he did, and I kind of I'm I'm forgetting that he did, but I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Hopefully he finds a home, um, and, and hopefully he plays for that NHL team. Now we have Wish Lundqvist, who's an 84 overall, which is cool. Keandre Miller topped out at 82. I thought he'd top out at like 84, but I guess not. Probably should top out at 84, but it's fine. And then goaltenders, they have Sam Sonov and Kemper. Where did the where did Shesterkin go? I I forgot. We have old man Patrick Kane on the Ottawa Senators. That's just depressing. Uh, along with Connor Bedard. Well, Connor Bedard going to the Sens is kind of cool. Not even going to lie. He's got that 91 overall. He's a franchise. Yo, he's next. He is next. Yo, we might. If ever, if ever we get bored of Anaheim, I might go play with Connor Bedard in Ottawa. You know, Connor Bedard. I'm going to go to my hometown, Ottawa. Get to play with Connor Bedard. Savoie, yes, sir. Timmy Stutz is still there. Holy fuck, Ottawa. Yo, they have a lot of high 80s. That's crazy. They have Taylor Hall, Formanton. <laughs> oh, and Brandistrom is still there. Wow. 
wow like they have some cap moves to do in two years when bedard's contract expires but they are going to be a wagon for the next two years and then they have Drieger and the so they definitely have some mid-tier goaltending so that's not bad at all sharply is the leading score for the philadelphia flyers along with drouin and couturier raffle wait yeah raffle is that the actual Vince Roffel? That's a new one. That's a new Roffel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a new Roffel. Okay, this guy's going to be a problem. Second overall pick, medium elite. That shit threw me for a loop because I was like, I know Roffel has a picture. And uh, I bet he does. Yo, Kevin Hayes, are you still getting... Oh, my. These contracts are all still going on. These awful contracts are all still happening. Devontae's 83. Yes, sir. Adam Larson. God damn it. We have Lilligren, who's in topped out of 82, apparently, or, or soon to be topping out of 82. McCabe, Hornquist. I can't believe Hornquist still plays hockey. That's crazy. Sasha Chemilevsky, my dog from the 67. Silverbird, we miss you in Anaheim, bud, but you kind of, you, you know, you left. You left, so you, you, you fart. Oh, my God. Jason Spezza is still here he played a whole five games this season but we gonna put some respect on the five games that he played okay my man's got three points in them things and he is a why is why isn't he playing more if he got three points in five games like spence is a point getter if you don't know, get this man some ice time cam york who's uh is that the real cam york yeah that's the real cam york okay he's apparently gonna top out basically at 81 that's it's messed up carter hart is at 88 and Brayden Holtby is still doing it, and he's an 81 overall now. So that's a that's a good team for the Flyers. Not even going to hold you. Across the state are their rivals, the Pittsburgh Penguins. And Tyler Trafolia leads their team in scoring at an 85 over Morgan Riley. My man, they have Kasperi Kapanen at an 86 overall. Reinhardt's 86. Mikheyev is an 80. Okay. okay. Is that it? Is that it? Oh. Oh, ooh, Rito. Rito is a top, is a 90 overall with the medium elite, and he still has plenty of time to grow. So, um, yeah, that guy's scary. That that guy's super scary. What's his contract looking like? Oh, he's expiring off his ELC. Okay, so they're gonna have uh, a busy off season for. They have Risto, God forbid. So yeah, the the Penguins definitely have to round out their roster. There's a lot of low 80s in there, but they do have some players, and they have uh, seemingly the next a great defenseman here and have Ulmark between the pipes without a backup so not bad not bad at all now the Sharks being led by William Eklund of course that's my dog that's what he does I, I I'm not doing it I'm not trying to pronounce that that's not happening but he's a franchise talent he's at 88 overall Smith, Timo Meyer still there. Eric Carlson, how's your deal doing? Goodness gracious. Evander Kane is uh, on a different deal now. We have Garland, not a bad player at all. Don Scoy. Uh, oh, Lionel Fraze made it. Yo, <laughs> I forgot I added him to the team or the roster. <laughs> Lionel Fraze is a San Jose Shark. Oh, yeah, I put him a couple drafts ahead or, or after me. That's crazy, bro. He's going to be so good. He's a power forward. He got that shot. If you don't pick this man first overall next time game, I'll pick this man second bunch of goofballs. This dude is going to be huge, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Lionel Fraze, my dog. We just might have to reunite us, you know, at some point in this uh, in this series, which a lot of you might not know who Lionel Fraze is, but the OGs know. The OGs know. Logan Couture is still here, and he's still making $8 million. The cap, the, the cap situation for, um, for the San Jose Sharks is just so brutal. It's bad. VTech and uh, Picard. Okay, not bad. No, well, it's mid. It's pretty. It's, it's lower mid tier. Okay, now the Seattle Kraken. Y'all have an expansion team and y'all had a fresh slate. What'd you do with it? Uh, it seems like y'all got a bunch of mid. All right. All right. Yeah, that, this team is not a factor. They are. They oh they have Justin Hall yeah it's over it's over they they're not gonna do anything oh uh, Grabauer Grabauer might be able to save them a little bit he has a nine thirteen so he's stopping pucks Gustafson's a good backup as well so well yeah maybe Th this screams like a team that is is not in on paper but 
probably through the simulation with chemistry, if they have good chemistry and all that, they could make the playoffs and make it to like un- inexplicably make it to the third round for some reason. And then at that point, injuries kind of take over and bounces and stuff. So maybe, maybe the Seattle Kraken are a little bit of a team, but I don't know. I don't know. Jack Action is a St. Louis Blue. They got rid of this man. Are you serious? That is crazy. They let the, I I guess the Blues offer sheet in him, and the, the Coyotes couldn't afford to keep him. What would you make? You have ten point two. That's not even that outrageous though, considering his production. It is only a it's a short year or short term though. Four years at ten mil. Ooh, bud. Ooh, bud. He he's going. Mm-mm. He's getting looking at for that fourteen million dollar contract, nice and early. I see you. I see you, Jack. I see what you're doing over there. JT Miller still doing it. Mathers, Zachary Mathers. Okay, we have uh, Shen still doing it. Falk. Okay, okay. Yeah, this the, the Blues are a good team, especially when you got Jack Action back there feeding all of these mid ass players like Mike Riley the puck. Their goaltender. They have Anna Felt, my dog, and Aiden Hill who sims well. So yeah, they got some good goaltending over there in St. Louis. Good for them. Tampa Bay Lightning still have Nikita Kucherov at 94 overall. Braden Point. Yo, Braden Point should not top out at a 90. He should top out at like 92, 93, maybe even. Braden Point is unbelievable. They have John Tavares now. Steven Stamkos. Pal- okay, so we're just getting all the centers then? Yeah, okay. Victor Hedman still 90 overall. Vorchex down to a 77 rip. Grimaldi, uh, Gambrell. And, oh, man, so they have some really top stars. Oh, Sergachev's still there, and he's an 89 overall. You levy- Who gave this man an 85? Seriously, there are there are some weird overall ratings in this game. Cernak, yeah, okay, so it's it, they have some really, really high-end uh, talent at the top, and then it's kind of mid-80s throughout, but they have Andre Vasilevsky once again, and my dog, Michael DiPietro from guess what? Guess what? Yeah, that's right. That's right. The Ottawa 67s. You know how Duba signs every Sioux Greyhound in the world? Yeah, that, that'd be me for the 67s, I'm just saying. Okay, Alex Kalorn is leading the Leafs in scoring. What happened? What happened? Oh, they 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 downgraded to to the bad Nylander. Bad Lander. Oh, my God. And they have... Bo Horvat is... The, oh, no. What happened? Christian DeVore. The Leafs just farmed it. They farmed it. Robertson tops out at an 80. Oh, hell no. This team is ass, bro. This team is ass. <laughs> they have the surprise man himself. They have washed up Colin White. Colin White was never that great to begin with. You got the washed version of it. Yo, yo, they fucking suck. This team is trash. If we don't beat them every time we face them, my goodness. Isaac Rosen, no, that man is a dog. That man is a dog for sure. Rasmus, please free Rasmus. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Everybody else sucks on this team. Wow. Wow. I, I'm actually pissed. Oh, yeah, that's where Shesterkin is. That's right. I remember now. The Vancouver Canucks, who are one of the fan bases that is most happy about what just happened to the Toronto Maple Leafs. They have Quinn Hughes as an 89. They have Pedersen as a 90. They have Besser as a 90. Okay, okay. Mantha is Suter, and then it, yeah, yeah, and then it's mid 80s, which which is fair. Who this? Who this? Downing, but he's going to be a real problem very soon. He's at 85 with medium elite. They still have Ekman Larson. Oh my God, he's still getting paid seven million dollars. That's crazy. Nick Paul, and yeah, it, then it falls off from there. Okay, so Vancouver is close, close to being a really, really, really good team. And if they have goaltending, yeah, they have Jesus himself between the pipes. That's right. So that's um, that's a problem. That's a problem in the Western Conference. Pasternak leads the Vegas Golden Knights in scoring, along with uh, along with Stone and Carlson. Pavelski is still death taxes, and Joe Pavelski still tipping in goals. Like how many did he tip? Yeah, he has thirteen goals. Guarantee you, eleven of those are tippins. I, I guarantee you. Nolan Patrick. Uh, crawled himself out of a being an irrelevant ass bum to being an 85 overall. I guess we have Alex Tuck still there. Uh, didn't he leave? Didn't he leave and then come back? Is that what happened? Uh, apparently not. Apparently not. It was uh, it was. Oh no, he's part of the Eichel. That's what happened. That's what happened. The Eichel trade never happened in this reality. Ah, yeah, that's right. They still have Peyton Krebs, who uh, apparently is not going to go anywhere uh, unless unless he kind of. 
catches a little bit more of a oomph in his development. We have uh, Petro, who uh, has all the X-Factors in the world, but is now down to an 80. We have my boy Merity, who's pretty good. TJ Brody's all right. And then that's pretty much it. Oh, Old Man Ellis. Okay, that's that's going to be good for leadership and experience and all that stuff. So is Pulak, who's randomly an 86 at the bottom of the freaking scoring table. That's cool. And there's Nikita Bruce Drav. I freaking found him. He's at 81 overall. He is on the Vegas Golden Knights. He was picked first round, 15th overall. Man, this man has a... Oh, yeah, he's top six potential. I thought I gave him medium elite. I did not. Ryan Graves. Oh, no. I. You know why I didn't give him medium elite? Because he fucking... He, he farmed it. He was so mid in our NHL 21 series that I said, you don't deserve the medium elite this year, bud. We're giving him a top six forward. So we'll see how... He develops. Dal Cole is a 79. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, again, top players, nothing much at the bottom end. Soros and uh, no backup. Cool. How many How many teams we got left? Two. Two. Capitals and the Jets. Alexander Ovechkin is the leading scorer for the Capitals. This man is just increasing his lead on the goal-scoring record. That's what he does, man. Okay, Verhage is there. We have Kempe. Can they win a Stanley Cup? One more Stanley Cup. For, yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. It dropped off real quick. Oh, my goodness. Carlson is at 83 now. It's over. It's absolutely over. Y'all got Brett Ritchie. It's super over. There's no way. There's no way this team is going to be competitive at all. Nah, it's a bunch of mid. Okay, so rip. I'm sorry, Ovi, but you know what? Just just get your goals, bud. Get your buckets while you can. Y'all y'all have Matt Murray as your starter, and, and y'all don't have a backup. It's over, over. The caps is the caps are canceled. Okay, the Winnipeg Jets. We have Jake DeBust out here leading them in points. We have Cooper Fetty, who's going to be a problem. Kyle Connor is a problem and continues to be a problem. Teddy Bluger. Is going to be there on the middle six. Uh, they have a Br Lou Brindamore. Yo, is that a real guy? Is Lou Brindamore real? 2024? He might be. I don't know. That's kind of cool, though. It's kind of. I hope that's a real thing. Because that'd be, that'd be really dope. Theo Rochette. I didn't know that guy existed, but he sure does. And he has a picture, so you know it's real. Vaseline tops out at 84. Morrissey's at 86. Pionk is there still. And we have, uh, we have some... Y'all have a 73. Y'all let a 73 overall play 56 games. I liked your team to this point, Winnipeg. Oh, yeah. Y'all some y'all some trash at the bottom end of your roster, but do you have a goalie? Y'all don't have Hellebuck. Okay, Swimming's good. Swimming and Huso's good. So, yeah. Those are the lineups. Those are the teams. And we're just going to go ahead and look at the division. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to look at the overall league standings with the Anaheim Ducks. On the absolute top, we're going to slowly make our way down to the bottom so you can identify where each team is. And if Toronto ain't last, I'll, I'll be I'll be pretty... No, Toronto's not last. The Chicago Blackhawks are last somehow. And where are the Maple Leafs? I kind of... Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I missed them. I missed them. But, yeah, they're, they're not good. But apparently the Blackhawks are even worse. So, yeah, those are the standings and those are the rosters. That's what's going on in the year 2000. And 26th. It's been real. It's been fun. But we ain't going to do some gameplay today because that took a hot minute. I hope you still enjoyed it, though. And if you did, please hook your boy up. Push the like button in the face. Spin the hell out of a comment. Subscribe. And help your boy out in the description. Use code HUGE at GamerSubs. 10% off already. All of that. You know it. You know it. Okay, I'm out. Peace.